With a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 3 Team Ogre Attacks. This episode Inazuma National versus Unicorn. Got it, Eric. We came here to win. Seems Eric's taking no prisoners. Blimey, he's taking this proper serious and no mistake. It's making me nervous. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop him. <laughs> don't worry, Eric's going to give his best to his shot, and so are we. That's what football's all about. Mark. Now, it's time to prepare for the game. Let me know when you're ready. And that is what I will do, old pal, old Silv. Mark Evans is pretty amazing. He just has to open his mouth and his team get a spring in their step. That's why I want to play like I've never played before. Opponents like this make it all worthwhile. So we'll actually go and have a word with them. First of all, Coach Travis has something interesting to say about them. Eric Eagle and Bobby Shearer could have played for an Azuma National if they'd wanted. But they chose another path. I trust you follow me. So yeah, that's basically a bit of insight. They very well could have been in Azuma National uh, team members. Clearly they were candidates and they probably in perhaps may well have made the team on the Japanese side, but they chose to go onto the American squad for reasons that are not officially declared. But we are going to give them a good footballing battering. Are you ready, Mark? Absolutely. You join us here today for the Group A match between Unicorn and Inazuma National. The Japanese team have already lost one of their games, and if they don't win this, it's going to be a real uphill struggle. But the same also applies for the American team Unicorn, who've already lost to Orpheus, but uh, we're going to overlook that to paint an underdog. I most certainly am, Maxter. I mean, the American team boasts some of the best players in the competition. The captain, Mark Kruger, is a good old-fashioned midfield general, dictating the pace from the centre of the pitch. Then we have Eric Eagle, the midfield magician, a player who's been attracting serious interest from pro teams in the US. And let's not forget Dylan Keats, the ace striker known as the Hat-Trick Kid. Bobby Shearer is rock solid at the back too. Now, let's see how Japan copes with a team that excels at both ends of the field. Um, Mark, I wanted to, um, it's about Eric. What is it, Sylvia? What about Eric? Um, the thing is, <laughs> it's nothing. Don't mind me. Good luck in the game. Right you are. Here we go. Ah, oh, I've messed it up again. What should I do? And you hear that elated crowd 
that's when it says you're finally going to be getting into the game. And to be honest, in stark contrast to all the other matches, you actually will be getting straight into the game. The last couple of matches we've played, they've sounded the whistle, but then it's been straight back to scripted fun for another 10 minutes or so. But Inazuma National and Unicorn is actually pretty different. I'll give you a look at my formation. So we're going to be playing Pants and Jordan for the first time since they were re-recruited. Scylla's got his new defensive move. We're giving Axel a break because, you know, he's... It's the best player in the game. We don't really need him. We'll have a flip through the bios, of course. They're about level 34. So he wants to be a cowboy in a western. That's not something I would exactly desire towards. The western is probably my least favourite genre when it comes to film. That or horror, one of the two. But western has affected me more directly because I... Uh, well, when I was in America, I ran a video production workshop and we had to teach the kids how to make Western films, but we also couldn't have guns or beer in it because it wasn't camp appropriate. Anyway, kick the ball wherever you like because this is in a Zoom 11-3. You never get to kick off with the ball at any point in the game. Eric came out of nowhere and took the ball. Hey, so it's like that, is it, Eric? <laughs> We're going to put up a fight. Yeah, that's it. They take the ball because script. You can take it straight back as though nothing ever happened. That's literally it. That's the scripted beginning to this match. And now we can treat this as though it were any other match and just play the game. I've had the ball taken by quick draw. The worst defensive move in the game to make up for it. But... It's fine. That's my fault, I suppose, for fielding Kevin and Xavier instead of using Axel. I wanted to make things a bit more of a challenge because I do feel Axel makes the game a little bit too easy. He is ridiculously strong, but that's fine because we're going to head for the goal with Kevin. It is a good idea to try and score in the first half. Let's go Wyvern Blizzard after all this time because now that we've got Sean Frost back, that's possible again. But yeah, the first half of the Inazuma Japan versus Unicorn match, that's your prime opportunity to get things done because there are no uh, premeditated scenes to deal with in this first half. So we've got the first goal in, and that should pretty much set the tone for the rest of the match, I suppose. So there's not too much to be said about Unicorn themselves because obviously... It focuses on Eric and Bobby, who are already established characters. You know all about them if you've been following the series so far. To be fair, they weren't that prominent in Inazuma 11 2 because I didn't even recruit them until I had to. And then Inazuma 1 doesn't have Eric in the story at all, but it does prominently have Bobby in it. So you at least get the point, especially if you're an anime viewer. The captain is Mark Kruger, who, as I've said before, I really appreciate that they actually just recycled the name of the main character because that's so realistic for football. People do share the same name, and so they decided to do that again. And then they've also got Dylan Keats, who is their star striker. And Dylan is probably... Now that I've been to America, I can say with some certainty that they couldn't have picked a better name than Dylan. There's a lot of Dylans in America, not too many in England. But let's have a look at Xavier's new move, The Dawn. Very fancy indeed. It's in his DNA to score goals, right? Yeah, of course it is. The goalkeeper for the American team isn't even using his signature move. He's just using the one known by Thomas Fell of brainwashing. Uh, but, okay, at some point, hopefully he'll do his actual signature move if he's got any TP left. Otherwise, I don't know, we'll never get to see it, probably. But uh, Jordan not really showing what he's back on the team for, unfortunately. So I guess for this one-off episode, I certainly won't be doing this at any other point in the LP. But I think my commentary for this episode might take a slightly more vloggy approach than normal. Usually I keep things quite general because 
Oh, well, let's go with Planet Shield. I love this move. I tend to keep my commentary in Let's Plays purely about Inazuma 11, because, just for example, look at my Q&A. I split it into two halves. One half was about Inazuma 11 questions, and one was about general questions, which weren't as relevant to Inazuma. And the ones with the general... the episode with the general questions has half the views of the one about Inazuma 11. My Sonic Lost World LP, when I did that in between the two Inazuma games, that LP flopped in terms of views. I know that you guys are here for Inazuma 11, and so that's what I try to give. But this is a match against America, and I haven't recorded this Let's Play in nearly three months, because I've been in America, re-experiencing -re life in a whole new light. So, I'll have a brief talk about that in the second half, but for now, let's wrap things up on this half. Alright, not bad, you guys. Don't worry, guys. Still plenty of time. Mark, wait. I'm so sorry, but I can't keep it bottled up anymore. It's too much for me. I have to go. I'm sorry. What, what's wrong, Sylvia? Why, why are you crying? Yesterday, I spoke to Bobby. He told me about... about Eric. Mark, Eric is... he's... Say, Sylvia, I guess Eric told you already. You know, about him going pro and all. So, tell me straight. Did you buy it? Huh? What do you mean? But buy what? Sylvia, it wasn't true. He was lying to you. I mean, it's true that the pro youth team mm. wanted to sign him. But he can't join them. What? B but why? The thing is, Eric never fully recovered from that accident. You mean the traffic accident he was in? Yeah, he got the news after the tournament started. He's still injured, Sylvia. And the longer he leaves it, the harder it'll be to operate. But, but what's he waiting for? He should have surgery right away. The thing is, if the operation isn't successful, he may never play soccer again. I told him he was crazy to play in this match, but he won't listen to me. He wants to play against Mark. They say the chances that the operation will be successful, they're, uh, they're pretty slim. This could be his last chance to play. This isn't something he wants to go through alone. That's why he wants you there, Sylvia, by his side. That's terrible. He's made up his mind. He wants to play. There's no use in trying to stop him. M made his mind up? What does that matter? What if he can never play football again? I promised Eric that we would play football together for the rest of our lives. B but now we... If you're not prepared to commit 100% at a game like this, then there's no point in even calling yourself a footballer. Don't you think Eric would say the same thing? Huh? I, 
I know what you're saying. It's just... It's just... <laughs> Mark, I was so lucky to meet you. Playing alongside you made me who I am. In this game, I'm really gonna go for broke. I'll give every last ounce of energy I've got. This game is my chance to make a mark and show the world who Eric Eagle really was. Well, you've made your choice, no doubt about it. So Eric Eagle is spreading his wings and getting ready to soar one last time. Guess it's kind of appropriate. Heh, <sighs> looks like he's gearing up for action. In Azuma National, I'm going to go down without a fight. Are you ready for this? We're going to have one step up in our game if we're going to beat any team with Mark Evans on it. Bring it on. That's what I like to hear. Let's make the second half want to remember. And we return. We even have to get our stylus back out. Specifically, I'm just going to mess with my formation briefly. So my stylus is deployed. Not that I can play the game. Kruger, Dylan, let's do this thing. You got it. Someone's in for a big surprise. Ah, our defense is full of holes. Here goes nothing. Grand Fenrir. Guys, that was an awesome goal! Eric, you okay? You're soaked in sweat. Uh, Mark, we're not gonna lose this game, you hear? Well, we'll see about that. I'll stop your next shot, Eric. You'll see. Goodness, I'm not sure I've ever seen Mark or Eric work this worked up. Yeah, it's worth noting actually that Eric does have a solo shot as well. That was the one he used in the cutscene before starting the match. It's not particularly inspiring, it's just called something like Pegasus Shot, and it's just a single man shot with a big Pegasus behind it. But if he gets the ball, he might get the chance to use it. The Also, the main midfielding move of this team is called the Icaros, where they just take flight and pretend to be Pit. That one's interesting. Uh, but yeah, so I've been to America for three months. And yet now I've got to go and beat them in soccer. Which is a little jarring, but I tell you what. I could bloody live in that country. It's great. I was working on a camp called Summer at Sandy Spring. And, well, that's how I hit 2,000 subs. If I didn't say it in the Q&A or on Thomas J Vlogs already. I, uh, I wrote my name on the whiteboard, and the, they subbed, and now I've hit 2,000 subs through completely honest means. But, oh, that country, it's just unrealistically hot. You just step outside, and you think, well, I'm outside now. It's going to be colder than I was indoors, to say the least. It's not. It gets way hotter when you step outside, and that's so jarring to a British mind like mine. Here's Flash Offer, which really doesn't look that strong, but it's still got a decent amount of TP, uh, a decent amount of power. But yeah, oh, the heat was amazing. Oh, the lemonade was amazing. Because I tell you something, if you order a lemonade in the UK in a pub or a restaurant, you'll get Sprite, 7-Up. Or knockoff Sprite or 7-Up. That's it. You can't get yellow lemonade. That's so cool. When I go to America, I ask for a lemonade and it's yellow and tastes of lemon. Eagle, I'm taking you off. Wh what? Qu Coach, are you serious? You're bringing Eric off? Just when we were gearing up for another awesome attack. C Coach, let me play. I'm begging you. 
Listen, kid, you've run yourself into the ground. You must be shattered. No, I'm fine. I can play on, I swear. This is no regular game. I want to be on the pitch till the final whistle. No, I can still... Listen, I got a responsibility to protect my players. I'm serving you, and that's that. Say, coach, is this because of, you know, Eric's injury? Gah, I'm counting on you guys. Eric! The game still hasn't finished, but I've been sidelined. Can this really be the end of my football career? If it's all over... Why do I still feel like there's something burning inside me? Eric may have left the pitch, but it feels like he's still right here. I won't let you down, Eric. This is no good. I don't want it to end like this. I want... I just want... I just want to play football. Oh, it's so weird that he calls it football, because I have completely adjusted to saying soccer now. I might even say soccer by accident during the let's play so i hope that doesn't annoy people it was just less confusing to say soccer to americans instead of saying football but man the, the whole business with eric kind of hits home now because while i was out there at camp i was actually roommates with someone you know about my age and he was the soccer coach at the camp I was the video production specialist, so I was just doing editing like I always do. This is Unicorn Boost, by the way, the collab move from Dylan and Mark. We'll take it head... Uh, no, it's... Okay, we'll use the wall. No, it didn't work. But, um, yeah, so the soccer coach, I learned all about his life story, and we were in America, just like the Unicorn team, and he was heading for the pro leagues, just like Eric, and then he busted his leg, just like Eric. And so now I'm seeing that exact life story that I've seen in real life in the game while I play against the team representing the country I've just been in and fell in love with. Oh, I loved America. I did so many Smash tournaments. Um, let's just go God Break. We don't need to use Chaos Break. God knows, I mean. But God Break will eventually be on Pants' move roster if I could get her to a high enough level. But man... Can somebody, if I have any um, American audience members, can you send me some Swedish fish? Because I really like them. Candy's generally not as good in America. I think we have more selection of nice things in, in England. And the candy's much cheaper. The chocolate's way better in England. Dove is nothing compared to Galaxy. And Hershey's is nothing compared to Cadbury. But I really want some Swedish fish right now. And even though they're Swedish, we don't have them in England. But anyway, yeah, Bob Job, take all the credit for that win because you touched the ball at some point, maybe. Mark, you knew all along, didn't you? About my injury, I mean. I could tell, you know, just by looking at your face. Eric, even after you got subbed, I could feel your presence. It was like you were still on the pitch. I felt like I was still playing against you for the whole game. Mark. When I was on the bench, all I could think about was how much I wanted to play soccer. I felt it deep down inside. Now he says soccer. Inconsistency. Don't worry about me, Mark. I'm no quitter. I'll play soccer again. You'll see. Wow, Eric, you're right, you will play again, I know it, and we'll be waiting for you. You got it, Mark, we'll play soccer again, together. Eric? I'm so sorry, Sylvia, I didn't mean to make you worry about me. It's okay, Eric, I was happy you felt you could rely on me. I mean, we're best buddies. You were amazing out there. I've never seen you play like that. There's only one Eric Eagle! One Eric Eagle! This is... It's... Eric Eagle, he's our man! If he can do it, no one can! I don't think he can do it anymore, like, but thanks for the encouragement, crowd, anyway. They're gonna give him a big hurrah. Sounds like you got quite a fun club, Eric. 
What's the hold up, Eric? Everyone's waiting for you. You're gonna be known as the Phoenix, Eric. The Phoenix always makes a comeback. You're gonna be just the same. Bobby, Kruger, Dylan, I don't know what to... Come on, Eric! After the operation, you're gonna have to promise never to keep things like this from your teammates again. Got it? As long as I've got soccer, I'm gonna keep my eyes on the prize. This is one eagle that will never give up till it flies to the top. And besides, I made a promise I need to keep. Sylvia, I'm gonna invite you along when I make my debut as a pro. I'll be there. That was a most splendid duel. Paolo, I trust that when we do battle, it shall be with honor. Si, certamente, of course. Is that a Royal Academy uniform on the top right? That definitely looks like one. And that is how you make me feel too. Say pazzesco, Mark. You are incredible. Che, so it seems we will not be facing Eric Eagle in our next game. It is a shame. I had wanted to play against him, but Asa Levida, so it goes. Mark? There's just one match left in the group stage. If we win the next game, we'll be through to the knockout stages. Mark, Coach Travis, I've got bad news. The hospital just called. It's Cammy. She's taking a turn for the worse. She's asking for us. W what? No. Something's the matter with Cam Cam. Coach Travis, we need to get to the hospital right away. We will do that next time on Inazuma 11.3. Hope you're alright, Cam Cam. 